what's going on everybody welcome back as you can see here today by the title we are going to finally do the wide body on the drift car so war machine is getting a nice wide body kit not really i guess it's not really wide body it's um the click tuning uh wide body fenders fender kit whatever everybody wants to call it so right here we got the side door panel and we got the front panel the other panels are inside there and everything I'm going to bring everything else out yet, but just want to show you the two pieces that we have. So, if everybody doesn't know how these go already, pretty much this, which is nice about on these E36 is they already have a nice arch that comes out here. So pretty much we're going to be cutting along this arch, to probably about down here, and that'll make that nice and simple. Same way with in the back, pretty much the click tuning kit comes down to I think about here if I'm not mistaken. Um, we'll see when we get it on the car, but right now we're gonna focus on the front But again like this arch that comes up along here as you can see It's pretty much just gonna get cut that whole thing out. So you kind of can't mess it up uh, when I did sinister um, I pretty much had a guess and measure where I wanted to cut on that on this. It's pretty damn simple I mean, you're just gonna cut these arches out and pretty much they fit on there So we got some nice Hardware to go with it here. I got this from uh, z-spec z-spec design you can see there awesome. i went with the well nut kit instead of the rib nut kit um, i have well nuts on sinister and i really enjoy them and i like the rubber so then you don't have to worry about it I, in my opinion you don't have to worry about as much as you don't have to worry about much rusting with the rib nut kit when it goes in and probably rust and everything like that. but with the rubber well nuts then you know but uh we went with a nice gun metal top there and there's the rubber and then there's the well nuts so I'm just gonna pretty much drill the holes the size for those in the front and then make them wider in the back on the actual fender on the body for those. And then they all just combine together in a nice little package. I really like them on Sinister, so I'm gonna use them on here and see how they go. Plus it'll make it easier to take them on and off instead of making them permanent because uh, as much as I've spent on this kit, I think I'm gonna take it off before every drift event just to save it because I know eventually it's this car is gonna go into a wall or somebody's gonna tap into it. So I kind of like the nice half show, half drift. So it's not bad. Everything's painted underneath, so we'll drill the holes and all that. So when it comes to drift time, we'll take all the panels off so we don't have to worry about them getting bashed up and then shove them back on when we're just driving around, take it to some shows, stuff like that, especially when we have the V8 swap in, it'll be a lot better. So uh, right now I'm gonna take some painter's tape, if nobody knows. Make some painter's tape. I'm gonna tape up this fender a little bit, or I might just lay that on there. But either way, I'm gonna take the over fender and we're gonna tape it on top of it. See where it's got to be. And I'm gonna drill my holes first, just pilot holes to see where it, it needs to be, and then I'll make the holes bigger later. But yeah, pretty much the pilot holes, and see where it sits on there, and then I'll cut this out after everything's drilled. We'll go from there. So let's get started on it. And get it done. As you can see here fender is mounted with the tape up the top here. I'm gonna drill these top holes first and then you see I'll press it against there pretty hard but uh they don't perform around it once it has the nuts and everything in it so but that's where I'm gonna drill one there one here one here one there one right here in the middle and one here at the beginning so let's get to work on drilling the holes. been drilled in now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get, uh, grab a step bit and we're gonna figure out what the size of the well nuts are set these here a uh, nice size well nut there I don't know if you can see that nice size well nut so a little bigger than what it needs to be there so it looks like it's big enough to have the bolt go through so to figure out what this is i'm going to step it that out to there 
make it nice and easy, decently clean. So, let's see how it goes. All right, we're back. Well nuts are in. Let's see where they are. So, well nuts are in. You can see here, I got my line. I'm gonna trace that out, cut this hole out. Um, usually I take the wheel off, but I'm pretty sure I got enough room to, I don't have to mess with the wheel. So I'm just gonna leave it. But I'm gonna slice and dice, get the first fender done. Take the first. I got a little uh, head start on this, got a little jumpy on uh, trying to record this because I was so excited to put the fender on. So, <laughs> But uh, first click tuning side is done. Um, there is the finished product. Like I said, we got the little hardware there. They're a little higher than what I expected, but eh, they'll do all right. Maybe I'll order some low profile ones later or something. They're not too expensive. So, But for right now, I like them. They're not bad. On the Velocity, they look a lot better on here. They kind of tend to look a little odd. I think mainly because here they're sticking up, so maybe I'll order the low profiles. But that's the first fender on. Honestly, it doesn't look any different until really you get to the side here. Um, if you look at the stock side, here's the stock side of it. So you can see how I'm pretty much a little with the camber, I'm past the fender where it is there. So, and if you do come here, I actually do have a decent amount of room left in there for the Ken's eyes. So when I'm uh, running these with the new Manus kit, I don't know how much it's going to push it out. So I'm gonna hold off on ordering any spacers or anything for these wheels, because these are the wheels I'll always drift on, because I do like them, they're smaller and they keep well. Um, so for right now, we'll see until the Manus kits get, the no, sorry. We'll see when the Mantis kit gets here from FDF. We'll see how much it pushes this wheel out, if I need any spacers or anything. And we'll go with it from there. So same thing with the Ken's eyes. We'll see if it needs any spacing. But that's how it looks now. So it's got a little, not too bad. I heard the back's a lot more. So we're going to get started on the door side now. So it actually comes with a door panel just to, I guess, make it look a little nicer. So we're going to get started on this door. And then we'll start with the fender. This is the last thing I want to do. Just because it has the dual, you know, the dual pan in here. So you got to cut twice and then you got to fold up. And that's going to take a lot more time than... The front so I might just do the fronts and do the doors today and then I'm away from my friends and maybe get some help to do the rears this weekend finish it all up but uh 
other than that it didn't go too bad it went pretty quick so let's do the other side and get it done so i have decided to start on this side instead of going to the front side i'm gonna do one side at a time so we have the door mocked up here it's uh pretty cool i like how they add the door into this so you can see here from the rear just how much that's actually going to add fender wise you can see because that'll match up with that so right now got everything taped up door looks good let's drill some holes take it off redrill and get it all done so we're getting there we're getting there So every time I try to do some battery died, so <laughs> back at it. So and we have our holes, pilot holes drilled. I'm gonna step bit them out, get them a little bit higher. Pieces over there, step pick that out, get the hardware in. Let's make it look like this. All right, guys, finished the door. Fitment was a little eh, iffy on it, but. It wasn't horrible a um, couple mishaps here and there but again drift car so i don't know the way the fitment is and everything like that i might just leave it on for the events i don't know it takes honestly i don't know yet we'll see um i think i might use a couple more pieces of hardware and even them out as you can see here the door is there so we got here needs to be pressed down a little bit more so i might put like another one right there and just another one right here so i might have to order some more hardware i got this bump here but i really don't want to put another one in there unless i would put two and then that would just make a crap load of rivets on there uh, it's always you never know when you do these kits and stuff like that what you're going to need how it's going to come out my body guy my body guy did a good job on these he shaved them down make them look real good but uh, also you got to consider the car also this car itself is in bad shape and bent up and this and that and i learned a lot of that after i started looking at it through and through um when we got on the lift and stuff like that for bull checks and stuff like that we've been finding more and more of how beat up and bent up this car actually is so it could be body panels, it could be whatever, but nonetheless, maybe buy some more, put another one there, another one there, here and there, and then match it on the other side. But to me, that seems like a lot of hardware. But I don't want it coming off, and I don't want, you know, complete shit fitment, so uh, we might just put another one there. We'll see what goes on. So, all in all, though, that is one side, three quarters of the way done. I know the lighting's kind of shitty, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And that, like I said, once this, that's on here now, you can really see how much width that's actually going to give us. I mean, that's a good amount. When we, cut, when we cut this out, we'll be able to lower the car a little bit more and get some good wide wheels on there or whatever we may need. So, but not too shabby. Um, that's where I'm going to stop on this side for the day. I'm going to start on the other side now, cut that fender out, get that all done, get the other one done. And then, like I said, we'll continue this video another day when I have some more help for the rear, just because the rear is just a little bit more tedious, and I got some stuff that I need to get done tonight. So, um, as for that, I'm going to get started on this side. You've already seen me go through there and go through there. I might tape the back door um, this time, but you've already seen how the front's done, so... Maybe I'll pick this back up when we get started on the rear. But for right now, I'm going to get this stuff working and see where we get to. Alrighty, guys. We are back. And I've just finally finished up the front and door panel of the passenger side. Um, just went ahead and go ahead and did it since you already seen it being done on that side. Finished product. That one's on there. Door panel's on there. Still a little dirty. Door panels on, like I said, fitment on this side, same. So I'll probably get another two there just to flush that in. But other than that, pretty flush, not bad. Not horrible at all. Car looks pretty good from the front, looks a lot better, looks a lot different. You see how much wider it is. 
So it's gonna be interesting. I go tomorrow. Um, Alan's gonna mount the Ken's eyes for me on the Kendas. So we'll have those for like show, kind of going around and stuff like that. So like normal wheels and tires. And then these will still be. I'll get these um, replaced with Kendas and everything like that. Um, those ones took a beating. Those were the ones I switched out to, and they're pretty much all gone already. So for this little thing, 120 horsepower, I wasn't doing too bad at that track. It was doing really well. I'm excited. So in three more weeks, three more or two more weeks, I think, we got um, one more. We got another AMA event, and we can't wait for that one. So this is where I'm going to leave off today with this. So come Saturday in two days, we're going to come out here. We're going to mount them. So cut that whole thing out mount the rears we'll be good to go and then we'll like i said we'll have the ken's eyes to mount on that day because i already have them mounted and balanced so it'll be cool to give us an actual nice look instead of just the kind of thrown together pos which to be honest is still pos but again it's drift car so i'm not really worried about making a crazy crazy cool looking or good looking um just because i don't want to get it all it's gonna get beat to shit so we all know that that's why I have that one over there. So thank you guys and I will see you Saturday.